doing is never failing. There's a concept where we, we kind of get pre-programmed to think we have to succeed on the first try, otherwise we're a failure. When in reality, if you look at most of the inventors or most of the people that are world shakers, they're constantly failing. Elon Musk has this kind of cool setup for his own companies where he says, fail often and fail fast. The faster you can fail, the better you can improve because we're all wrong. We're just trying to get a little less wrong. And I think that's such a powerful statement. And then I can't remember where I heard this next one, but it's they were always asking their daughter, what have you done this week to fail? And I thought that was a fascinating question because it promotes the idea that when we're learning something, it's about failing. Because you're never going to get it right the first time. There's always better. And if we're going after the ideal, right, which is super high, farther than we've ever gone before, getting to that point, you kind of have to fail to it. <clears throat> and then so the concept is failing doesn't make us a failure. Failing is the decision to quit. And I really like this one because then you have to decide, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Then I failed. Or we're trying to modulate where our goals are. And that's a different topic. But if we're giving up or deciding to quit, that's when we truly hit the failure mark. Because failure in the process is really just learning. And I think that's really cool. And Theodore Roosevelt had a really fascinating speech. It's called The Man in the Arena. And he's talking about those who are doing it are different than those who are watching it. And I think that's because the ones in it get kind of these self-conscious because they're in the, the muck, the grime, the sweat, the blood, the tears. And you can get kind of get discouraged by all the hecklers in the crowd. But they're not the ones doing it. So you can ignore them. It's kind of an interesting way of looking at things. Um, if you look at Babe Ruth, right? He hit 714 home runs, which is what people remember. But he failed 1,330 times in his career by striking out. To get those wins, you have to have those failures. So the question is, are you willing to pay the price? For whatever it is your goal is because it takes time it takes energy it takes blood sweat and tears you have to be in the arena slogging it away and that's something we, we can forget sometimes so I hope this kind of hits home for you today and um, love to hear from you send me a note in the comments and talk to you tomorrow